everybody, welcome back. So today we're playing um, The Devil and Me from the Dark Pictures Anthology with my friend TJ. Uh, so Pipes011. Um, neither of us have played this game or know anything about it. Um, and it's... Is it one of your first horror games, TJ? Yes. Okay. So, um... If you watch my other Let's Plays of the series, you'll know that I love horror games, but I'm excited about this one. Um, I'm hoping it's a lot better than The House of Ashes because that was not great. And as always, we're just going to start with new story, uh, new save, and so what do you see, TJ? Do you see me clicking start as Jeff or start as Murray? No, I have like that shared story screen and then and nothing. you're on the um and then it just has like you on the top and me on the bottom with it. okay who do you want to it's asking who i want to start as so uh who do you want to start as jeff or marie uh i'll do marie i'm usually all right males and games i'll switch it up <laughs> all right so i'm gonna start as jeff tj's gonna start as marie and uh, ready. I think you just have to press A or... Are you playing on keyboard hit mouse? Enter, I hit ready. Oh, okay. There so it goes. You're playing keyboard mouse. All right. I'm Correct. playing with the controller. Yeah, I, uh, I typically play controller, but um, I've been trying to get more into the keyboard and mouse. And this is... Um, all right. So I'm controller. You're going to be mouse. I don't know what the controls are with mouse to, like, make decisions or anything, just so you know. So uh, I feel like it'll run me through, and, like, once I do that little initial intro where it explains everything, I'm usually fine. Yeah, because usually the first, like, two minutes of the game kind of tells you what we're starting at. Uh, so. Alright, so I already explained this to you a little bit, but, like, uh, each of us are gonna have choices throughout the game, like, either dialogue points or, like, actual, um, like, you have to choose to save one person versus the other, or, like, do nothing. And sometimes do nothing is, like, the best thing you can do, because then everybody's fine. And other times you try and save somebody, and, uh, you know, death kind of happens. <laughs> The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can also, you imagine? Be next to me, so I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. Right to we should make that our <laughs> okay. first priority. Actually, I might need to... Um, I'm just going to pause this. I'm, it's still way too loud for me. I had to take my master volume down to, like, 75. Yeah, it's way too loud. So that I could also loud. hear Discord. Okay. Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to hit ready uh, since I paused it. I think. Cause either of us can pause it. Yeah, there we go. And I haven't done the shared story thing in like. Whatever five pleases years. you the most. You please me the most. All right. You mean you are not the World Fair in Chicago, and I didn't get the date. Marriage. I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Did you watch American Horror Story? No. Okay. This, this like, the whole vibe kind of reminds me of the season that they're in a hotel. Very fucked up season. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Yeah, that's not a bad omen. Only people checking into the hotel and no receptionist. Try again? Go 
skeleton's got some fucked up teeth. All right, so uh, I have a choice here is Jeff. So I don't I don't know what you're seeing, and I don't know what I'm seeing. Um, you're seeing the choices. I'm just seeing, like, that you're Fair deciding show in us all sorts of wonderful okay. things to come. That's kind of cool. But the only future I care about is ours. Talk like that optimistic. makes me wish there was a way I could marry you twice. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it says you're deciding. Okay, cool. I wish they'd hurry up so we can finally be alone in our room. Oh, do you now? Well, that was, that was a very Slow creepy service. thing of him that to say. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both Look at the mustache on this man. My God. My attention was needed elsewhere. The descendant of Tom Selleck. Dude, I tried growing a mustache when, like, in the winter. <laughs> I promise well, from like here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? Okay. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. I don't like the way this guy talks. No, it's, I wouldn't yes. say it. Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. It's like a little examine tutorial. How kind. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely okay. hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor. Doctor. Artist. Doctor. I'm a man of many interests. Dude, this kid definitely sat his own Impressive. Table. Oh, for sure. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Creepy. Creep me out, man. I already don't like him. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. I could buy them both. Oh, shit. What'd you do? I just, uh, so I had a choice to pick up three necklaces, and I just picked up the one on the right. And whenever you see, like, birds fly across the screen, that means you did something that, like, changes an outcome. And, uh, oh. I didn't even look at the other two. Pardon I just me, picked miss. up the one. <laughs> It gave Careful me a choice you. between like My bath stuff and awfully cross powder, and I picked the bath stuff. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? I just wouldn't you like to know. I'm actually, before we do anything else here, I need to pause again and turn on the subtitles because 
my brain doesn't work well, with them all. I'm powering my controller up to examine stuff. You need to move the mouse, and if it bottoms out on your screen, it uh, it quits. Got it. Turning the thing. So um, I'm not doing that. There we go. You good? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I just had to, my controller turned on. I'm all good. Also, this guy's name was Henry Howard Holmes, so his initials are just Triple H. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Oh my goodness. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. Just a thrill seeker. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You know it's old timey because they said room. They didn't say Nothing room, they said room. 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 <laughs> See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait. What's that? Uh, dude, I don't like that. <gasps> Don't move. It's Henry. Oh, I hate this. You gotta, you gotta time the heartbeats, and it fucking sucks. I fuck it up every time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go as planned. Lost. <laughs> uh, A wrong turn, it would seem. This room is being renovated. It's not safe. Of course. We... You must have missed the sign saying private. Must have. We're very sorry. I can't have you falling through floors and having your brains dashed out, can I? No. Again, we apologize. Think nothing of it. I'm only thinking of your safety. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. in the last game there's a heartbeat thing at the very end and i fucked up the very last heartbeat and led to one of the characters dying i was so fucking pissed welcome newlyweds to i the didn't get birds week. when that happened at least so no it, that was fine thank you kindly mr holmes do enjoy your stay if you'll excuse me i have work to return to because that was just like the introductory sure one to show you the mechanic again soon if I was this, like, couple, like, it's not like he took your credit card, to, <laughs> so I would just leave. Yeah, right. And never come back. Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Oh. It's just a pillow. She'll be fine. Hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. So, in these moments, too, you don't have to do anything, but if you move the cursor and it turns red, you just press RT and it will go at. It, like, will throw stuff or, like, do whatever or shoot things. Okay. So you don't have to do it, but uh, you can. Okay, you win. Oh, we're not finished. How did that do that? Did I pause that? Yeah, well, what the fuck? I don't know why that did that. I... Oh, I might have hit the wrong button. <laughs> I give up. Victory! Are you using a Xbox or PlayStation? <laughs> you cheated! Uh, Xbox, but my controller, like, stuttered, so I grabbed my mouse. Hmm. Oh, we can equip items in this game? I no have something shit. for you. That's Are a new you mechanic. Throw it at me? No. An actual gift. 
You've never been able to equip items in any of the other ones. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Oh, it's Open the necklace I picked out. Okay. Bearing updated. Yeah, oh, so that Jeff, usually means lovely. that something in the flow chart has changed. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll I guess I didn't have, have to equip that, but at least, like, not right now. Maybe there would have been a time later to do that. I have no idea. Oh, that's a camera for sure. A thousand percent. Yep. Fucking knew it. Even old timey hotels are no better than Airbnbs. Did I forget to pack my razor? Oh, he stole it, and he's gonna kill you with it. Man, fucking cast. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it. What is this? The bathroom? <laughs> Open sesame! <laughs> Jeff's Thank way you. too excited for my quest. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. All right, so you'll have to tell me what you're doing then, because I'm Jeff, like, heading down to the lobby. Okay, she's getting the drawn, drawn water. Also, it really pays in these kind of games to, like, explore as much as you can. Um, because usually, like, there could be pictures and stuff that you can examine, which is, like, a premonition of, like, somebody could die or something like that, so you can um not have that happen and then there's like stuff that you can pick up that has secrets that'll change like the ending and stuff like that so if you just like walk around the room you might ha you might be able to like interact with certain things i couldn't do anything i'm just in this random ass fucking hallway i could have sworn this was the way we came up <laughs> there's a door that said lobby but like I couldn't open it. My lady's sitting in the tub. I feel like you got the better of these two. What? Oh, <laughs> fuck! Oh, trap door. I hear something, like, creaking, and she thinks it's you. And then there's feet on the other side of this, those old-timey divider hey. things. Also, I 100% just missed, like, the, uh, Q code to not fall down in the trapdoor and almost died. Oh, oh I got birds. I'm just... Oh, boy. Just walk out. Dude, why is this It said place... investigator relax when I saw the feet, and I was like, I'm... Every game they die when they go and look. Uh-oh. I'm being approached. Oh, boy. With her eyes closed, I think I'm gonna get drowned. This is another trap door, better. Fuck, which one's the bathroom? Uh. Yeah, my person's definitely gonna die. I have no. I. Literally, none of these say bathroom. Oh. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely getting drowned. Oh, I'm coming in. Triple H is taking it to me. Oh, come on, Jeff. Open the door. I can't do anything. Open the door, Jeff. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. I don't know why I did that. There. Wait, go back. Back. It gave me a prompt, and I don't know why it updated that. Uh oh. Come on, Jeff. That was the bearing prompt, and I panicked and thought it was a. <laughs> oh, Jeff can't open the door. He's j he's just sitting outside with oh, pounding. I'm... 
I'm dead. Pretty sure. Yeah, I... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I literally can't do anything. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria... You're a bit late for that sentiment. Good oh, story. no! Oh. Oh, yeah, And people wonder why I am packing everywhere that I go. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run. Marie's already dead. Oh, um, they, oh that's not great. You might have to take it to him. Oh, that's not great. Oh, God. Random that really wall. sucks. It's like the Matrix. Alright, well, the, yeah, that random The window was out. bricked up. Uh, okay. That's, that's probably... That's not what you want to look up and see. Yep. That sucks. Oh, Jeff, you pick you picked a bad room to enter, my man. Three. Oh, Jeff. Oh, oh Jeff. that's I mustard should, gas for sure. I should have confronted. I should have confronted him, but he would have just killed me anyways. I don't, maybe your dude can throw hands. I don't know. I, he does not look. It like doesn't. It. it doesn't seem like he can. Like no. <laughs> under that impression. <laughs> it, it's like oh, this is the time when like dudes that can throw hands had like mustaches and stuff. Like your dude's mustacheless. Yeah, he he has nothing. To be fair, that's how the beginnings of pretty much all of these games go. Everyone dies at the beginning, and then, like, later on, you start to figure out what the fuck's going on. A place for everything. Everything in its place. Aw, oh, man, all that jewelry's from well, people he's killed. This. That's a twist. What a dick. Only the best for you, my dear. His mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. good man, do you work here? Good man. Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, man. I wouldn't talk to that guy. Also, I'd pitch a tent. Also, these games have the best introduction. Okay, well, both of them were going to die regardless. But Won't you spare me over till another year? Skip the intro, or no? I like I like watching the intro. Okay. Plus, I like seeing who the uh, a lot of the actors and actresses are. Usually, they have somebody pretty big as the main character. I don't know. Who's that. Like the guy that drowned me in the tub kind of sounded familiar, but I think he just has like one of those creepy voices. Look. Oh. You're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. 
I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. Dude, I didn't gotta call me out like that. <laughs> I love the curator. It's so good He's to such a company. douche. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? He also gave this him some really good lines this time. About those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. These are the things I was talking about to like repercussions explore. that you will all experience. This is kind of cool. I These, can't this is way different That's than playing on your against own. against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. That's a new mechanic, too. I, that wasn't in any of the other well, games. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. So I wonder if we find those, if we could like rewind and make a different that's, choice. That's the impression that I got. It gave you like a manipulation My name is Kate kind Amber. of thing. Yeah, I've yeah. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on the good account. Uh, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. He seems super excited. I've been a key group in lighting tech for years. A problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? So, this is like, I'm sick of, being on my own. of course, their way to introduce us to all the main characters. Sorry, do you start there should with be five of them. Or, um, like personal info. Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz. UK originally. I've uh, been here for oh, 20 Charlie years. needs to the live. The series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. Oh, so does it take place in the hotel, like in the future the from there? Usually, that's how these work. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't feel as bad about that enough. right away, then. I don't think there was a no. way out. No. No, the oh, people in the I beginning always die. Or, honor. usually. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. Love it when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I could not help the fact that I was a no, murderer no. any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes until finally 
the monster was dead. Uh, Triple H got the got the America's got the rope. first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly Man, how can Triple H have that much time, man? He built a whole hotel. He was buried as requested under concrete. I feel like that was the easiest was time period to get to away with stuff God's like that. Judgment? Yeah, but or did like he so much time. But there's no way you're stacking 200 bodies now. And kill him no. again. But like he built the whole hotel while killing 200 people. It, this poor man never slept. Sir. Ever? What do you think? This dude never even took a nap. His hobbies were worth killing people. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Bet she was gonna say shit. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. That's always the great story. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be oh, ready. Oh man, this dude's so impatient. We're talking a couple of days. Shoot. Red flags. I told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Man. Freaking pulling up in a limo and shit. Mr. Dumet send you. We. Right. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, up, he doesn't even get out. He doesn't right, even guys. get out of the car. I'm Terrible sorry. red flag. Red flags. Red flags everywhere. Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is. Uh, he's got he's gloves on, bro. This is gonna be grand, people. No, this is not. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Nope. Nope. Road trip! Hello! Hooray! This is gonna be great, guys. Uh, Fan fucking fantastic. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, seat Charlie. Of your ass. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Oh, Some so of the rooms it's, it's are full recreations it's from the murder H. H. castle. The Met has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this. Just trust me. Oh, uh, so didn't. I'm just kidding. This guy can definitely uh, end Sorry now. for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for some uh, time. The red flags keep flying, well, my man. This may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home. I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that can affect my this? business or lifestyle. <laughs> there are rules. All also, footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. Also, when a random I box pops insist. out of the limo his seat, place, his that's rules. just... Yeah. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. Yeah, that's your For first show. mistake. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Also, before going to a strange man murders mansion, you should always have a second sec uh, second secret phone. 
hidden in your boot. Or, or like, it, I mean, at least a pocket knife or something. Like, come on. These people are not prepared. If this dude is Sir Rich, shouldn't he have service or something? Is this guy gonna help? The only thing I want to do is be able to use the camera tripod as a weapon at some point. No, really. Because that's got it. probably the best Thanks, weapon that bro. we're going to have. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly, um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, I don't even know what that crazy. saying means. A butcher's yeah, dog? Yeah, that's, he made that up. Let's go, Charlie. Our butcher's dogs Be fit. careful, guys. I, I, don't, I, I can't imagine so. They're probably Come laying on. on the floor eating the fatty cuts of the meat all day. Right? Like, they're probably... Oh. Oh, I'm the old guy. Okay, I already forgot his name. Charlie. I'm Charlie. All right. Then. A. Climb these. Approach the wall near the... Cla oh. Okay, so... Um, I guess you probably already noticed, but, like, there's usually, like, a white blinking light when you can, like, interact with something. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Look how fit he is. Butcher's dog written all over his face. It gives me, like... Hey, guys! Hurry up! We're on it! That'll be to jog. Okay. Um... I mean, the movement and everything is a little wonky, just so you know. And there will be points in the game where, like, something intense is happening and you gotta, like, press a button really quick. Otherwise, you'll trip or fall or well, yeah, die I know that or whatever. I mean, one oh, so much stack.